So in this video we are going to be creating this glass looking navbar with the video background. Let's jump into it. So I already have my file set up. I just have the background video, just pick a video, whatever you want. And create an index.html file with the styles.css. And also we're going to use this website called css.glass to get that glass effect. I will leave the link in the description. Just open it up and leave it there. And let's also create the boilerplate, say glass nav and link that style sheet. And also we're going to need this extension called live server. Go ahead and download this. And after downloading it, right click, open with live server and here is the website. Okay, so let's add the video first and then start to create the navbar. We're gonna add the video at the top. And I think, what's it called? Let's see, it's vid.mp4. And we need to add some attributes in this tag. So we're gonna say autoplay, loop, and mute it. And that should do it. And then let's create the header. It's going to be really simple with a class of logo and let's create the nav with a class of navbar anchor tags let's create like five some services about portfolio and contact and yeah that should do it it looks horrible so let's start to style it so first let's clear this margins and paddings gonna use poppins as font and we're gonna say box sizing border box so let's make this video fit the screen let's say position absolute left zero top zero height 100 percent width 100 percent object fit cover and z index of minus one you gotta give it minus one because we don't want it to end up on top of these items so that we can see them yeah it looks cool let's Continue with the header, position fixed, align item center, top zero, left zero, width 100%. And the padding is going to be a bit higher than usual because we want to make it bigger so that we can see the background like the glass. That's the whole point. And also display flex and justify content space between not around space between so i think for now that's enough we're gonna add the glass later after we finish the styling so let's say let's also finish the logo but first let's check how is it going yeah that's good so the logo is going to be white font size 30 pixel text decoration none Font weight 5, not let's give it 600. And cursor default. And let's make the navbar A. Color white. Font size. We're gonna make this anchor tags also really big 18 pixel. Text decoration none. Margin left. So we can get some space between the anchor tags border bottom two pixels solid transparent because we're going to add a hover effect later say transition 0 0.3 and let's add the hover effect also say hover and border bottom two pixels solid white let's see how's it going 
Yeah, there you go. It looks good. The hover effect's working. Everything works. Yeah, I think the only thing left is to add the glass effect. Let's open up the website. Let's see. We don't make it too white, so... This should be okay. Blur is going to be a bit high. And color... It's just a bit dark to make it more realistic. Yeah, we don't want a too much outline either. And that should be okay. Let's copy that. And paste it inside the header. And we're going to delete this border radius. And there you go. Let me make this full screen for you real quick. There you go, it works. The hover effects work as well. And that's how you do a glass snowbar. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.